for visiting with the very beautiful Ann Miller, the star of Maine. And you were talking to someone about the health food. Do you uh, you believe in all those things? You mean, and, and, and am I a health nut? Yeah, I was <laughs> well, afraid to say it. Yeah, I'm a health nut. I tell you, in order to do Maine, I'm on the stage, you know, two and a half hours. So my dresser, Penny Davis, they, uh, I don't know how they do it, but they get honey down me through all the show, and it goes right into your bloodstream. Um, and it gives me the energy, it really does. Then I take wheat germ all during the show, the wheat germ capsules. Then when I'm at, sort of like at home in my room here in this beautiful hotel, I take vitamin C and calcium and vitamin E and, uh, well, I, I believe in it, I really do. I take vitamin shots once a week, vitamin B1 and vitamin B12. I, I figure, you know, uh, uh, vitamins must have something in them because uh, when you stop taking them, you really don't feel nearly as well. At least I don't. It gives me energy. But, Anne, do you always eat when you take your vitamins? Yes, I do because you could never take vitamins on an empty stomach because they're inclined to make you dizzy and well, everybody has a different reaction. Uh, but I do think you should eat something before you take your vitamins. I want to know about your gorgeous clothes in the show. Who designed those? Well, Bob McIntyre designed them originally in New York. And uh, it's so strange, you know, uh, Betty, this uh, designer must have had a very psychic vision because the clothes in t today in Maine are absolutely in style. And, of course, Mamie was supposed to have lived in the 20s. She starts out in the 20s. And then she goes in the 20s through the 40s. But the clothes are really, don't they look almost oh, like the latest were thing? Oh, beautiful. And, and yet it's supposed to be a, a really, in a sense, a period play. So that's kind of fun, I think, you know. And what about your figure now? Do you have to really work at keeping it so beautiful? Well, I want to tell you, since I've been in Ohio, I've been eating all that good fried chicken and chocolate pie and T-bone steaks, and I've put on about five pounds. Maybe really. I tell you, even though I work hard in this show, I still gain weight because we eat, you know, like tonight, I'll come now up here and I'll eat all this good food, and, and if, boy, I'll tell you, it, it, uh, it catches up with you. <laughs> and you do a tremendous pap number in this show. Have you practiced, uh, you know, through the years, every day, or do you still no, take lessons? No, I tell you, I don't, ta I don't practice every day, but I do try to work out at least two times a week, even when I'm not doing anything, just sitting around and, and all that. And, of course, every morning I always get up and do some bends and stretches and get the kinks out like a cat would stretch her back or something. But uh, I, I really don't do as much as I probably ought to. But then when we start a show like this, it's very hard work. Uh, I'm working with marvelous boys and girls. They just leap like gazelles, and they stay in training most of the time So uh, because they they go from show to show. While they're doing one show, they're learning another show. I must say, st summer stock is, uh, is very difficult. It's not easy, but uh, it's very rewarding. Where do you make home, Ann? Well, my home is in Los Angeles, and I live with my mother. Have you always lived there? Well, uh, primarily, yes. I'm a Texan originally, but I do have a home in Los Angeles, and uh, uh, my mom is still alive, God bless her, and uh, we live together in the same home. It's a big old home. We've had it for years and years. I hope everyone has an opportunity to come down and see Maine because you are just marvelous, Ann Miller. And Thank come back you. to Dayton next year. We'll, well look forward I, to seeing I you. really am looking forward to coming back and working for John Kinley, and I do hope you all will come see our show. Thank you, Ann Miller. Thank you. Thank you. That music in the in the background that you hear is coming from Henry. season. We're having the big party after the opening of Maine. And here's a good friend of ours that does a tremendous job, Hazel Steck. How are you, Betty? You look as gorgeous as ever. <laughs> she was, she was, she's one of my favorite people. You look marvelous, Hazel. Thank you, and I feel great. How many parts do you play in Maine? Five, believe it or not. <laughs> Listen, how do you make all those changes? Sometimes I wonder. People ask me why I don't get the lines fixed. Up, but I've been doing it for two years and I've never dropped a line, Betty. <laughs> Listen, but what all have you been doing since you were here last? Well, the last time when I left here, I was doing uh, Pal Joey with Buddy Greco and Ann Jeffries, and that was uh, 68 in um, July. And I went back to New York 
and I was supposed to do another summer stock job a week later, went back to New York and auditioned for Maggie Flynn and got a Broadway show, and they told me as soon as I auditioned for it that I had it. And that's uh -huh. unbelievable. I sang eight measures of I enjoyed being a girl, and all the hands went up in the audience and and I thought well you know I've lost another Broadway show and and somebody stood up in the audience and it was Martin DaCosta, Teak DaCosta. Really? Yes and he said what are you doing the rest of the year Miss Steck and I said nothing that I can't get out of. Why? He said you're in Maggie Flynn. Isn't <laughs> and he I, great? Oh he's wonderful. He used to be here in Dayton so we kind of I didn't know him. that. Yeah. Oh I love him. With the Dayton Civic Theater. I didn't know that. I just love him and I had one little tiny part in Maggie Flynn and then the rewrite in Detroit. We were there five weeks. I inherited four other roles. So the number five is a great number for me. <laughs> but listen, no, you're just lucky, Hazel, and everybody loves you. But now you and Ann Miller have been friends, haven't you, for yes, quite a while? Yes, we've been friends a long time. We're both from Texas. She's from Houston, and I'm from Port Arthur, Texas, 90 miles away. And we both are cha walking chambers of commerce. Everybody kids us, you know. Because when we get together, everybody says, stay apart because Mame's going to have a southern accent and Madame Brazlowski, instead of having a Russian phony French accent, will have a southern one and it'll blow the show. <laughs> But Hazel, <laughs> no, listen, you really, when you're on stage, you have so much fun. I it, do. I love the show. Well, no, listen, Ann, Ann Miller is really a worker, though, isn't she? She's a marvelous, marvelous lady. She's a perfectionist. She really and is. And I love a star when she's a perfectionist. I do. It makes the whole company work twice as hard and makes the chorus people, you know, just stand in awe and say, you know, a lot of stars just fluff things off, but not Annie. <laughs> She wants everything just so. Listen, how many people are backstage helping you get out dressed? Well, we have, I think, three dresses. Uh, Annie has a personal dresser, and I have uh, a couple of wig changes, as you know, as the old Mother Burnside. <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. Upson, the Connecticut housewife, and, and I wear my own hair as Mrs. Upson. Imagine getting all this hair under a Mother Burnside wig and a blonde Madame Bratislavski wig. I have to put a stocking cap on my head, you know, and just try to mash it down. And somebody hands me pins. And well, you don't get to go to your dressing room. You have to do no, this on I the do wing. No, I do this in the wing. And people help me, you know. A dresser helps me and somebody else says, well, can we help you too? And they start handing you things. <laughs> so it's a community project. <laughs> Hazel, you go to Warren from Dayton. Yes. And then what are you going to do? Well, I'm going back to New York, and I'm going to be in an off-Broadway show called um, Pay the Piper. It's a uh, spoof on the Pied Piper, Pied Piper of Hamlin. And I'm supposed to play the mayor's wife, and it's a Here comedy comes Joe role. Vichy. absolutely marvelous, and can't wait to Oh, I love that, that show. show for us. Food, 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 food. I haven't eaten I'm in a year. You, know you can tell. <laughs> Listen, congratulations on Columbus. You just oh, wasn't a Columbus fabulous. Was oh, Joe, yes, just the whole season everywhere. Warren, Dayton, lovely, lovely Dayton. Favorite town in the whole world. Thank you. Sir. I love the people here because they're right. just like they are in the south. And people like yeah. Betty Rose. And then listen. They Thank love you, the Southern Sea. That's what I like. The old Mother Burnside and Sally Cato. <laughs> Hazel, we hope you'll come back next year. Thank you, Betty. We really do. You know, it's kind of sad, the end of the season. But I, I hope know. everyone comes down to see Maine. And we'll do greater shows next year, too. We certainly I don't know how we can get a greater one than Maine, though. I don't either. Not with Thank Annie you. Miller. <laughs> come back, Hazel. Thank you, Betty. Good luck to you. You look <laughs> lovely. Thank you. You don't you. change at all. Thank you. <laughs> Good seeing you, Betty. Good seeing you. party for Maine and these are the Brit boys this is Gary and this is Stephen Brit and Stephen you play young Patrick don't you yes ma'am how long have you been in show business five years five years how old are you I'm eight eight years old 